Hello everyone, welcome to another iPhone interview. Today we are joined by the one and only Daniela Hemsley. How are you, Daniela? Hey. I'm doing very, very well. Thank you very much for asking. Well, it's nice to have you here. And let's just go immediately into the spicy questions first. So with the whole incident going on, you probably know which one I'm referring to. How have, yeah. you, how have you been dealing with it behind the scenes? Have you been getting any lawsuits? Have you been uh, going through stuff? How, how, how has it been going? I feel like it's all um, blown over now. It was a massive whirlwind. Um, obviously, my celebration, I flashed my boobs and mm. it blew the entire world up. But what a lot of people didn't know is that it was actually planned um, if I was to win. Um the promoter of Kingpin actually presented me with the idea. Um, he sent me a video of women flashing their boobs on WhatsApp and was like, you know, I think you should do it. Fuck it. Literally gave me full permission to do it. Um, he even sent me a voice note. I made a whole YouTube video about it. Um, anyway, yeah. So, and then obviously I did the flash. I won my fight, flashed. And then he, they obviously got a massive backlash from Design and kind of, uh, threw me under the bus a little bit um and a lot was going on behind the scenes you know with um money and them I feel like basically trying to keep my mouth shut um but they wasn't you know I was very patient very professional and it just got to a point where I was like actually I'm untouchable for other promotions at the minute because if people think that I'm just a loose cannon like I'm not gonna be able to fight again so I made a video and basically just told the truth and that's kind of where I am and now I'm in talks with other promotions about yeah. potentially fighting the end of this year early next year so yeah amazing to hear and respectfully it's kind of weird for a promoter to send you videos of other women flashing their tits it's kind of weird behavior yeah it's crazy <laughs> kind of weird behavior I mean, I mean uh, moving on so with the money situation with Kingpin have you been paid? so I don't know about everyone else, but I kept my original contract um, for the semi-final. So I was paid my fight purse, but because they paid me so late contractually, they still owe me um, like late interest. Yeah. So they technically, legally still owe me like thousands of pounds. Um, yeah. But I kind of got to a point, I was sick of chasing them and, yeah. you know. I just kind of let it go. So I know I, I I do know some people still haven't been paid though. Not naming names, but yeah, okay. it's, it's yeah. <laughs> yeah. And with the um, on the better on the better note, you said some other promotions were interested in hosting you for their events, fighting there. Which uh, events are we talking about? Are we talking about um, the one in Dubai going on? What the misfits? What are we talking about here? Um, I don't well I've been in talks with um misfits um nothing is uh is signed off yet but um you know we are looking out for opponents and you know potential cards and yeah. Yeah, it's really exciting yeah. there's a light at the end of the tunnel now yeah, exactly. <laughs> when everything all happened I was like oh my god I'm never gonna box again and yeah. all the rest of it but now there's a light at the end of the tunnel and I'm training hard again and mm -hmm. it's sick man yeah, and one more question about um, the Kingpin situation. Do you regret what you did, or are you or are you okay with it? In terms of the actual action, I don't regret it at all. Okay. Um, I know there's a lot of positivity. There's a lot of like respect to you, Daniela. Go for it, fuck it. And then I know I've obviously had a lot of backlash as well because uh, people were saying that I'm disrespecting the sport, um, I have my own opinions on that, you know. I've yeah. always said that I believe professional boxing and YouTube boxing should be completely separate. Mm -hmm. And I'm not trying to be a professional boxer. Um, yeah. I'll try and fight like one and I will train like one and I respect the actual sport and I will fight hard. But in regards to everything around it, sorry if you hear my cats meowing. Um, in regards to everything like around it, you know, it's, it's entertainment at the end of the day. And yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and you did get a shit ton of impressions with that. That was very crazy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. You must In terms of marketing, amazing marketing. And I definitely uh, gave some eyes to Kingpin as well. So, you know, I don't know why they uh, caused me so much shit because at the end of the day, I'll, I'll probably up their revenue. <laughs> yeah, it blew up crazy. So, yeah. yeah so talking about Misfits, um, there's actually a fight about to happen. Um, Alexia uh, Grace versus um, Astrid Wett. Would you like to yes. point, um, 
the fight the winner of that fight? Hundred percent. But I'm a lot bigger than them, so I unless they was to come up to come up to weight, like to the kingpin tournament sort of weight, mm -hmm. um, I wouldn't be able to fight them. But hundred percent, like put them at me. Like I'm sparring like professional world champions now, so so yeah. like my skills are leveling up like every single week, and yeah, I don't think they're very hard fights. They're they're right. small girls. <laughs> All right, and um, okay, so someone higher up in the weight class, would you be down to have a fight with Elbrook? Yeah, hundred percent. I've I've called her out before, and I've called out um to rematch Julie Pucker as well down the line i mean i know elbrook wants to go back down a few weight categories um because i think in the kingpin tournament she was fighting like three weight divisions higher i think um but if there's an opportunity in the future and she was up for it why the hell not yeah i think obviously fighting best i think she's you know even though she recently lost i still think she's the best in the youtube boxing like industry so to get the opportunity to fight her is, is yeah. sick man yeah and talking about um people in the influencer boxing scene eddie hearn also had some comments upon you do you have any response uh towards him um he i don't think he he commented on me personally i think he commented on youtube boxing as a whole and he thinks it should be banned or whatever but the same comments as previously yeah. I think that YouTube boxing and professional boxing should be completely separate because yeah, it's it's almost like a parody, whatever the word is, proudy of of boxing. You know, it's entertainment, and in YouTube boxing, in my opinion, the fighting comes second. The entertainment and the build ups for the fights come first. Like that's what it's all about. Otherwise, we'd all be professional boxers. Do you know what I mean? Like yeah. we're obviously all training hard and trying to fight like it, but at the end of the day, we're entertainers, like we're characters. So we need to sell fights and. And yeah, yeah that's yeah, my opinion. Yeah, and talking about creation, um, what type of content are you trying to be um, be making upcoming years to up yourself as an influencer? I mean, I've only been in this industry literally for like a year and a half, coming up to two years. So I guess I'm still finding myself. But as much as I love being like this sexy, comedic person, I also try and put myself out there like, in real life, like, for example, I'm trying to grow my YouTube channel and mm. I really try and push, like, being myself and, you know, stripping back, no makeup, like, feelings. I express my mental health a lot and my weight loss journey on my Instagram stories. And, you know, I really want to start pushing that um, more real life stuff. But obviously, you know, I guess I've, I've as having OnlyFans, I've built a stigma of being an OnlyFans girl. And I really try and steer away from that mm. hence why i don't just post laundry pictures and shit like that all the time yeah and would you be considering ever leaving that industry behind or are you still thinking of yourself being in there for the meanwhile oh no i in regards to only fans like i absolutely love the platform like it's a way for me to express myself without, without like community guidelines and i talk to my fans personally on there and i think it's a really good way to you know interact with my fans and you yeah. know you you do earn good money from it as well so i'm definitely not trying to i would like we're only fans that's not the case at all but i know that the second you have OnlyFans and people find out you have OnlyFans, like if you read news articles about me, it's OnlyFans star Daniela. And like, I really want to try and steer away from that because I'm way more than that. Like I'm not just an OnlyFans girl. Yeah. Sorry, my cat. Yeah. Um, I, I do way more like um, I have a crazy lifestyle and, you mm. know, like an inspiring weight loss story. And I'm super passionate about health and fitness as well. So, yeah. Yeah. And you have a sick garden. My garden. Yeah, very sick. <laughs> Okay. Fucking huge. Fucking huge. <laughs> so talking about influencer boxing again, um, do you see yourself fighting for much longer in this scene? Hundred percent. I at least at least the next couple of years, you know, like I've I've just got my first win. And um I feel like that was definitely overshadowed. Well, especially I feel like my world got rained on when the whole like everything was going on with Kingpin. So I definitely want to box again, you know. I finally got my first win and it would be cool to build my record up a little bit. Maybe one day get an opportunity to fight for like a title and 
And yeah, man, I love it. I love everything about it, like the lights, the cameras, the 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 drama, like the build up, and then the reward at the end for you know all the discipline and hard work for the boxing. Like I love it. <laughs> Yeah, and with Misfits about to enter its um, second uh, year, actually, uh, who would you like to fight next year? What, what's your hit list, and how many times would you like to fight? Ooh, there's a few. There's a few people. I think it's hard because I don't know how like people's weights. Mm -hmm. So you know, um, I would love to fight Elbrook one day. I think Fangs would be a good fight. You know, she need, she wants her redemption fight. She agreed to fight me. Mm -hmm. um, Carla Jade, I'd love to fight her. Um, yeah, man, to be honest, I'm, I'm quite open to to not fighting anyone. Like if it if it works, like if it's the right match for me, and you know, any opponent I get, I present to my coach, and then he'll be like, "Yes, that's a good strategy." No, that's not. And yeah, man. Yeah, and um, about your fights, do, do you did you feel nervous when entering the ring? Did, did you have like uh, goosebumps going into your fight I wouldn't say goosebumps it's really weird because my first fight I felt less nervous but I got absolutely battered and then my second fight I felt like I had much more of a chance of winning but I was way more nervous but I guess I wanted it a lot more like coming away with a second loss that's kind yeah. of like I just didn't want that and that's why I did give it my all in my second fight and I feel like I really needed my first fight to get like get a proper batter in to know how it feels and get the idea of the environment and then come into my next fight and give it my all. Yeah, amazing to hear. And with all of that said, do you have any last message to the viewers, maybe future opponents to end the interview with? Um, more so just thank you to everyone for your support always. And, um, you know, I guess thank you to the haters as well, because at the end of the day, hate comments hate it's still all views are good views right and you know stay tuned for for more of daniela because it's only just begun for me all right <laughs> thank you for joining this interview it was a pleasure to have you here and thank you we want, we want to thank the viewers for watching this interview and we'll see you guys at the next one see ya all right <laughs>